Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Tower of Guns. So, we're back in the tower yet again, let's get it going here, because we've got something new to test out today. Not the kegerator, no, the hedgehog. Between now and last time, I did a little run here to get ourselves the uh, final spike ball launcher kill, and we unlocked ourselves a new weapon, the hedgehog. Not for long distance or a low spec PC. I have no idea what that means, but it does worry me slightly. I guess we're going to give it a shot, probably going to take bluegrass again, because bluegrass seems to simply lead to better runs. Maybe we'll try something else though, let's try it. I really want to have some fun with Taco Terror. I want it to work for us, we're going to try it. We've been yet to ever get a gun to level 6, but I want to see what it looks like, and this sounds like it'd be a crazy one if it does stuff that makes your PC have a hemorrhage. So let's give this a try here with Taco Terror and the Hedgehog, and see what happens here. No idea what we're getting into, but let's get in and find out. Here we are. Alright, grab our starting cash and see what story we're playing. Hey there, kids, and welcome to Pinky's Professional Team Building Obstacle Course. We did this one recently, I think. Oh. Whoa. That's cool. I'm not going to worry about the story since we've seen this one before. We're just going to run in here and hopefully get a start on things. I remember how long we lived with this story, but we'll see what happens in the next one. What do I get stuck on? A tiny little edge. Alright. Well, we have a spike ball launcher, which I guess makes sense since you get it from killing spike ball launchers. Ooh, it's pretty powerful too, it looks like. Took those guys out in no time. Ow. Hey. There's a damage upgrade right away. Take that. That's a good start. Although, apparently it's a bit hard to hit these saw guys with it. Alright, there we go. Problem solved. Woo! Or not. Spiky balls flying everywhere. But I'm quite happy to get that damage upgrade first thing. That'll be a big boon to our firepower for the upcoming stage. Is there anything hidden around here? This is a map I don't remember finding anything fancy hidden on. Maybe in here there's something hidden in the walls? That don't, doesn't look like it, though. No, probably up higher. No, it doesn't look like that either. Alright, don't know what we're supposed to be finding hidden away in here, but let's just move on and see what's through this portal. Well, there's definitely a secret up there. I don't have the jump to get up there, sadly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hello. There's more of these little ground guys. We're seeing them more and more often, but I still have no idea what they actually are. We still have no weapon upgrades. I don't think we've seen a single one. Huh. Yeah, that looks like it's just a health upgrade, so that's not a big deal, even if we can't get up to it. Or rather, a health regeneration, not even an upgrade. So, let's just move along. Hopefully we'll get some weapon experience on this stage. Ooh, there's a whole weapon experience exploder guy. Let's throw some attacks into these guys, those who don't kill us on the way over here. Ow! But we need to grab all this stuff before it goes away. That'll give us a lot more strength, most likely. Hard to say exactly what it'll do, because we've never tried it before. Ow. Looks like it shoots more projectiles now, which is kind of cool. Gotta wipe these guys out without getting killed ourselves. There we go. Ooh. Avoid the damage. Clear the waves. Alright. We probably shouldn't be climbing like this right away, but you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about it. We're just going to tank our way through here and try and take these things out as quickly as we can. And then we'll go back around and collect what we get. This is actually a pretty cool gun. It's pretty effective, too, the way it uh, lobs around like that. You can actually do some pretty good damage with it. It looks like it's easy to miss some of your shots, though, and then it doesn't do a whole lot. There's the boss room, so we should be able to hopefully get a little bit more experience before we go in there, so we can really capitalize on this gun. We only need a tiny little bit more to get to level 3. Ooh. A spread gun mod. I don't know what that does. Well, I can guess what it does. I'm assuming it's the opposite of precise and makes your bullets spray everywhere. What I'm saying is I'm not sure if we want it. Because making a weapon that already spreads quite a bit even less precise seems like a bit of a problem. A little bit counterintuitive, as it were. Let's see if we can find anything hidden away in this level, though. I know there's stuff in the cauldron if we drop in there. Is there anything else lying around here for us to grab, though? We don't have any double jumps, so going into the cauldron will deal us damage. Is there anything else hidden away, though? I don't see much. 
do not sell oh, there's some experience uh oh ow so there's some experience but I don't think we can get to it because we're not fast enough nor do we have enough jumps to get over there so let's go back up the slow way drop into the cauldron get whatever power-ups are hidden within what's in there Ooh, is that a speed power-up looks like it I'll take it if I can grab it there's the speed now is there anything else down there Nope, nothing else down here. Just the game trying to get me to tilt my way out. Alright, up we go then. And now, can I make my way across to here with a well-timed jump? Not with a poorly timed jump, at least. I think I might have actually grabbed it off of the ledge with the magnetism ability. Possibly. Let's go take a peek up there again. We don't have enough money to buy that mod anyway, so it doesn't really matter. My preferences on purchasing are not really relevant. Oh! Nope, I can get over there, but I can't get up high enough to actually get the, uh, the power-up in question. Presumably, if I jump from here... Yeah, I won't be able to get the altitude either. Alright, fair enough. A couple upgrades here we have to pass by since we don't have the money to get them. Which is unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it. I don't see anything else hidden away in here, so we're just going to move on to the next room and see what we can capitalize on there. Only got level 2 for our hedgehog here, but hopefully it'll be good enough. We can't get the spread upgrade, can't get that random item. We'll have to just go on. Uh-oh. Big ol' spike group could be pretty difficult here with a weapon that doesn't aim up very well. But looks like we got it pretty okay here. Spike wall's coming towards us, but it should be dead pretty quickly. We're doing huge damage to it. There we go. Boss is dead already. Not a chance. Not a chance. This is a grenade. Tank Attila's fire. I have level 3 weapon now. Shoots even more spiky balls. Alright. What does St. Attila's fire do? Throws a grenade? Yes. Well, that's interesting, but I would certainly say it's not great. Alright. We made it through another stage. I don't know if, don't know if we actually saw this text or not. We'll start reading it from the next section anyway. Alright. Alright, let's move on to the next area in a second here, and, uh... Oh, I jumped on his head. I'm sorry, little bot. There, he loves me again. Alright, let's go. Let's go. The foyer is complete. We must have died really early on or something. I recognize the start of that story, though. Alright, into the foundry. Here we go. Collect the cash. I really hope this thing finishes up by two. I've got to take my car in for inspection. Do you think it's too late to opt out? Let's just get this over with. The less I have to talk to you nerds, the better. Hey, kids! Remember, the less you think like the team, the more likely you are to get incinerated by a 4,000 degree furnace. That's a good incentive. Gotta say. Wow, those spiky balls really bounce. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Get out of here. Boink. Alright, level 3 is maintained. There we go. Is there anything else left alive in this floor? Doesn't look like it. I'll grab the experience, though. Are there upgrades down here? No. It looks like there's a bit of money down here. But I don't see any secret walls or anything hidden over here, so I'm not gonna risk my life for 9 pennies. We're just going to have to move on, I think. Might be something behind there. Doesn't look like it, though, with the way these all bounce off. Alright, fair enough. Let's move on, then. St. Attila's fire seems to reload really quick. Whoa, lasers! That is a lot of lasers. Interestingly enough, they seem to go right over our head, though. Which is weird. Uh-oh, hello. Alright, let's take these guys out, go clear out the rest of these lasers. So we can actually get around this area safely. I guess those lasers are mostly in place to stop you from jumping around, which is interesting. Alright, get over here, Buzzbots. We need to kill you off with some lovely close-range spiky balls to the face. There we go. I want that penny. Ooh, that was close. 
Alright, I'm not seeing anything else in this room that we'll be able to do. This is another one of those rooms that's notoriously low for me being able to find the secrets in it. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Something in there? In there, maybe? There? Oh, there's definitely something over here. Money. Okay. Well, I'll grab some cash. Cash is inevitably useful for getting you more power-ups later. Is there another secret hidden on this side? No. Or in the curtains? No. Alright. Anything in any of these places? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Well, it's handy that we have the ability to easily check like this. But I'm guessing that's it. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's get out of here then. There's probably something up there still, but we can't go up there, so let's ignore that. Oh no, it's one of these rooms. Let's hide at a safe distance and hope they don't notice us. There we go. It really is not a good long-range weapon. The Hedgehog is fun, but boy does its power drop off quickly. Alright, there we go. Okay, there's nothing down here. We've experimented with this every time we come here. Let's get upstairs a little bit. Ooh, what's that? That looks like an item of some sort. We can't get up there, so that's not to be worried about. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't think we can get to any of these areas without any jumps, so let's not worry about it and just move on. Hopefully we can get a couple extra jumps here, because that'll make our survivability much higher. But for the time being, we're not going to worry too much about it. There should be some enemies spawning in here in a second, though. Hello. Hello, saw blades. Is that all? I don't think it might be all. Okay. Grab some more cash to be able to buy upgrades again in the future. Grab all this experience. There we go. Level 4 hedgehog. Even more spiky balls. Excellent. What more could you need? Oh, that's a secret up there. Or not. Some of them seem to disappear into the wall, and some of them don't. I don't know what's going on there. I can't get back up here anyway, though, apparently. Oh, I can get up to here, but not up to the next floor up. So we're just going to have to ignore that, I think. Kind of disappointing, but we do have to do it. And it looks like there might actually be a secret up in there. That certainly looks like something, but I don't think I can get up there. Not without some kind of extra movement abilities or something. We don't have that. So we're just going to have to move on. Losing secrets all over the place, but that is how it goes when you don't take the starting jumps. Let's clear out these tanks and then worry about getting through more of this area. It's the price we have to pay to potentially have a level 6 weapon. And we can't get in there from here, so we have to go all the way around it looks like. Is there anything hidden underneath any of these things? Doesn't look like it. Up we go then. That's a secret for sure, but again, not enough mobility to get in there. Not that we probably would have had enough mobility to get in there with bluegrass, either. That looks a little bit too high up for us. Down to level weapon, weapon level 3 again, unfortunately, though. Taking a bunch of damage here. Yeah, I don't think we have enough jump height to get up there with what we've got. Alright, let's grab ourselves these pennies and move on. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Where did you come from, you jerk? Let's go back down and grab that health you've dropped and the money. That'll be very handy in the future, no doubt. Gotta love when enemies spawn back behind you, though. Okay. What's all this, then? Oh, I chose the wrong side. There's money on the other side. Oh, there's money on this side, too. Okay, it's not so bad, then. Secrets anywhere? Probably, but I don't know where they'd be. It'd be easy for them to be all over the place in here. Let's just move on, because I don't see anything. It looks like that'd be the best option for us, unfortunately. And we're in a... Ooh, what the heck is this thing? A me bomb bot. Oh. Oh, it splits. Oh, good. It splits into more bombs. Well, what could possibly go wrong with this? What could possibly go wrong with this? Alright, let's just fly around and blow up everything we see. 
lob spiky bouncy balls everywhere. On the plus side, the spiky bouncy balls did a good work at clearing those guys up. What is this? Oh, it's the cash generator. I'll take that. Cash generator seems like a good idea. Being able to buy more items if you find them is always nice. Not seeing much else in here, though. Let's grab that weapon power or item power up stuff. That grenade hasn't done us much good, so we'll take this pocket change generator instead and count on it helping us out. Now, there's probably just money back here behind the point, but we'll grab the health upgrade and the cash. 15 cents or 25 cents is pretty good, though. Let's hop around here and hop through the lava. Ow! Thankfully, it kept our weapon at level 4, but that's gotta hurt. Next room it is. Through the foundry, now where to? Only 25% of secrets found. We found more than that. We just couldn't get to them. Now we're on the battlements. All right. Well, I'm not going to be able to explore the battlements much, but let's move in here and see what we see. Want that weapon level 6, though, pretty bad. Hey, kids. Welcome to the battlements. Don't fall off the balconies. Happy team will see you through any challenges. What does a happy team have to do with not falling off a balcony? Do you think our insurance covers dismemberment by robotic saw blades? Our insurance won't even cover paper cuts. I know. I tried filling a claim. Filing a claim, rather. Yeah, well, of course not going to cover paper cuts. That'd be silly. Hello. Ooh, ooh. I haven't seen this actual room layout before, which is interesting. Woo! That is a lot of turrets at ground level there. Ow. Taking a whole lot of damage here. Let's go. We killed them off. Let's go grab the experience and health they've dropped so we don't kill ourselves prematurely here. And let's try and blow up these suckers, because they're the ones throwing the homing bullets at us. Now we need to take out these turrets, because they're giving us a hard time. Well, they're, they're pretty tough. This gun is not super great at killing them, it looks like. Which is not great. But there we go. We got rid of another one. Grab ourselves weapon level 4 again, and boogie back over this way. Oh, I can't jump up there, unfortunately. Alright, let's get over here and deal with these guys on the top level. For the greater good. There we go. Grab ourselves some more experience and kill off the last two guns. Phew. Okay. Well, I don't know what's up here. It looks like there must be something hiding around here, though. This looks like a room that probably has a secret in it somewhere. It's much larger than most of the normal battlement rooms. But it's equally contained, so I don't know if it actually does have any secrets in it. Hmm. Alright, well... <coughs> we might just have to pass up on this area. I'm not seeing anything. All these walls deflect our attacks. I guess there's actually nothing hidden in here. Next room it is. This one normally has a couple easy-to-grab secrets in it, but without any jumps... I don't know how easy to grab they're going to wind up being. Let's take out that spike ball launcher before it... Ooh, another damage upgrade is really good. Before it fills this room with spikes. Another blue uh, power-up bomb guy would be very nice as well. Oh, more enemies throwing mines everywhere. Let's get them out of here if we can. More experience to be had, but we're walking into the explosives these guys are lobbing. We're going to spawn the next wave of enemies by walking up too far here. we got to take these guys out so we don't lose weapon level 4. Also, let's go back and grab all the experience before it despawns. Otherwise, we'd be very sad. This should be enough to get us to level weapon level 5. If we get it all... Oh, we missed a tiny bit of it. Didn't quite get all of it. Alright, now we're weapon level 5. Woo! Look at that! That is some firepower. <laughs> Those things look dangerous. Alright. Let's grab the experience line around and get ready to move into the next stage of this area. Where we'll probably have to give up a very nice looking upgrade because we'll be able to get to it. But we'll do what we can. Take advantage of everything nearby. There we go, you're done. Oh, there's a health upgrade that just got dropped up there that I won't be able to reach. That's cruel, game. Alright, well, we can come under here and hopefully find something nice. Just money. Game, I want that health upgrade. Uh, can I launch myself up? A little bit, but not enough to actually get any altitude. Well, that sucks. Let's generate some pocket change with the pocket change generator. There's also an item up there, but I can't reach it for sure. But that, that hurts. There's a health upgrade right there. What's over here? Uh, it doesn't look like anything fancy this time. I can't see it, so it's probably not a power-up. It's just some money or something. But I, wa I want it so bad. 
All right, we gotta we gotta leave though, cause there's no way we can grab that. Hello, turrets. That is a lot of turrets. Holy cow! The tower of guns is real. All right, let's blow these guys up. Thankfully, our weapon is really good at killing those ground level guys. Ow, taking a bit of damage though. We don't want to lose level, weapon level five if we can help it. We want to try and get weapon level six if we can. Because that's what we're here to test out anyway. See what weapon level six even does. If it's worth the effort it takes to get to it. Grab all these power ups, thank you. There's a whole bunch more blue. There's a difficulty down we might grab as well. Weapon level six. Did we get there? Did we get there? Grab the difficulty down. Why not? Might as well. I don't know what difficulty down actually does, but we'll grab it. I don't know if it just means there's less enemies, in which case difficulty down would actually potentially be a problem because you wouldn't get as much experience from things. I want that weapon level six though, we're so close. We're not gonna, oh, there's an armor up up there too. I got all this money and I can't spend it because all the upgrades are hiding. That hurts. Oh well, let's go fight the boss here. What are we fighting, a doom ball? What is this thing? Apparently it's a big rocket launcher. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem that bad, honestly. It seems like a really easy boss. It's a lot of rockets now, but it's dead already. I don't think it actually hurt us once. So, I mean... Oh, come on. Don't drop the money up there, game. I can't really complain about that, though. It was not that bad. We have, ooh, weapon level 6. <laughs> Look at all those projectiles. What's this? Vampire, yes! Damage heals you? Oh, yes, please. That sounds amazing. Alright, now we have healing powers from our gun. We have a bazillion spiky balls that bounce like crazy. Oh, this could be sweet. Alright, let's get through here. Hey there, Hugbots. Anything hiding behind here? Health. Alright, I'll buy a health. Got plenty of cash to spend on health. There we go. Especially with vampirism, having a bigger health ca capacity is probably really good. Ah, look at that. I wish we had a bit more jumping power, because we're having a hard time getting the even simple secrets right now. Even things that just get dropped slightly up on ledges or out of our line of sight. But, this is looking pretty good so far. So, let's get into this teleporter. Elevator, rather. Only 33% of secrets. Alright, let's keep going. Into the battlements, into logistics rather, out of the battlements. Alright. Hey kids, this floor should feel like home. There are tons of business props, like computers, and wires, and uh, walls. Do you think he knows we're not actually kids? I don't think it matters. I read somewhere that clowns lose their ability to talk to adults after six months of clowndom. By the way, if I die during this motivational retreat, tell the boss I quit. Alright, let's go. Explosions! Oh, we lost up level 6 already. That was fast. Where are these shots coming from? We know some of them are here. Where's the Lanternophiluses? They must be on the top deck up there. Let's just lob some explosives around. We are actually regenerating a ton of health, it looks like. Alright, let's get upstairs, maybe. Or under here, grab this health. Not that we need it. There are a lot of little guys running around in here. Let's just blow them up first, then we'll deal with whatever's above. We're still taking damage from somewhere. I guess it's probably just more of these guys. It doesn't actually seem to be hurting us very much. So we'll just lob some shots around and clear our way. Awesome. Weapon level 6 is probably incredibly valuable here. Let's keep moving though. I want that money. Okay, good. Not that we need money since we have the pocket change generator, but... Whatever, man. Whatever. Don't want to go down there yet, because if we do go down there, we lose any opportunity to find anything else in this. What are you doing in there? Get out of your misery. But, uh, yeah, I, the lack of jumping really does make it difficult for us to find any interesting secrets in here. Because we just don't have the mobility to get around. Look at all those shots. It looks like they do hurt us if they're nearby when they explode, but they don't hurt us very much. I'm guessing the explosion is not a pretty core element of this gun. This this is not looking like much yet here. We're just going to go down to the next area, I think. Anything up there? Nope. Good. Nothing here. Nope. Good. Next room. 
Hello, you're really close to me. Get out of here, you. Man, this thing's powerful. Especially with all those damage upgrades as well. No wonder we're killing things quickly here. Top deck doesn't seem to have offer any extra protection. We can't vaporize these guys from here. <laughs> we do have some pretty crazy firepower with this thing. Hey, get out of here, you. Did I say you could saw me in the head? No. I did not say that. That is not a something a sane person would say. Vampirism seems to be doing a good job of keeping us fully healthy here, though. Okay. Probably not going to trade vampirism for anything, no matter what else we find, because that just seems really nice. Oh. More secrets you have to jump to. Well, I guess we move on. I guess we just move on. Let's go take a peek over here. Is there anything hiding over here? Probably not. Oh, more money. Can't do much with just the cash, though, unfortunately. Can I drop down from here into this area? Nope. Probably wouldn't be able to get out if I did, though, because it looks like there's just a solid wall there. Let's head over to this next area and zoom around and see what we have to do over here. Oh, more cash, I'll take it. Not that we can use it for anything, because we can't actually find any of the uh, machines. But, you know what, I'm not going to let that stop me. A luck up! Okay, I'll take that. Might be able to get some items to drop now. Looks like this area is now full of enemies again, so let's come back into here and deal with them. We have really not taken much damage since we got this thing, and I can't tell if it's because we've avoided the damage, or if it's because we just regenerate health. Do we regenerate health on hits? Because if it's regenerating health on hits, this gun is amazing with vampirism. I can't really tell, though. Might be kills, might be hits. We'll find out in the boss fights, no doubt. I wonder how this thing is going to handle the... Uh the gumball machine boss, because it's kind of a hard-to-aim weapon. I guess we'll just spray it around, and since it uh, has a tendency to bounce around crazily, it'll probably do good work for us. Might be really good against the boss, too. We'll have to wait and find out, I guess. Hopefully our luck upgrade actually winds up giving us good luck here, because we could kind of use some. We're already in logistics, and we don't have any really good upgrades, apart from a bunch of damages, which are very nice. Bolstering the damage on this thing and giving it the vampirism effect is pretty darn good. Alright, let's get out of here. It doesn't look like there's any secrets we'll be able to grab here. So let's move on. Oh, we're in this room again. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Hello. Alright, let's try and clear out a safe zone for us here first. Ow, we're already taking shots from things. Don't need to worry too much about health pickups now. Oh boy, that's a lot of explosions around us. Let's get rid of this guy, because he's also lobbing bombs at us. Shots coming in from above, not too worried about that yet. These guys should go down pretty easily to our swarm of explosives. That guy does not look very familiar, and I don't like the sound of the buzz saws over my head, but I don't see any of them, so let's just look around a bit more. Ow! Don't drop my weapon level, thank you very much. I need that level 6 gun. Otherwise, how am I supposed to vaporize you all? Can I hit up there with this? Yes, I can. Not reliably, but I can do it. More bombs throwing up here. I don't know if I can hit them either. I can't hit this guy, though. He's a pretty easy shot. And is there anything else lying on the other side? Yes, there is. Lob a bazillion explosives over there. Take him out. Good. There's no power-ups on the ground level again. Ow. Well, we're down to weapon level 5 again, because these guys are persistent. I don't know where else they are. There they are. Can we hit them from here? Get them out of the way, at least? We'll lose a bit of experience, because we can't get up there and take advantage of it. But at least they'll be dead. There's a double jump on that lower platform down there. We might be able to actually grab that one, which would be nice. Getting at least one double jump would be a step in the right direction. Alright, there's a weapon level up. Pocket change generator generates us 88 more dollars. We're back up to weapon level 6. Take a bit more cash. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's take the elevator up. Hello. We got a coin. Well, it's not a great reward, but I'll take any free things we get. Lots of enemies back down on the bottom floor again. That's not super great, but whatever. If we have to go back down there, we might as well go back down here where we can grab ourselves... Oh, it's a jump height boost. It's not even a double jump. That actually kind of sucks, because that's not going to give us the ability to really take advantage of it, because if we don't have more than one jump, jumping a little bit higher isn't a huge boon. I want that experience, but I don't want to explode those mines. I have to leave some of that stuff behind, sadly. Alright, take the elevator back up, and then we'll deal with the mine layers. They haven't coated this area in mines, which they of course did. Alright, let's lob some explosive shells over here and get rid of them. 
Lanternopolis's minis. You can get that magnetism upgrade at least, which is something. Ooh, look at all that explosion happening. That's not healthy. Don't stand in the fire. Okay, this is not a happy place, but we're regenerating health faster than they could hurt us. So while we're losing some weapon experience, we're not losing much else. Let's kill these guys off nice and quick with our super high power attacks. There we go. Grab some of this experience to fill up weapon level 6 again. Looks like weapon level 6 is a bit of a temperamental one. It has a tendency to drain quite quickly. Alright, let's grab this experience before it drains as well. Oh. Oh. Alright, not seeing much else here. There's no way we can get any higher. So I guess we'll just have to move on. Next room it is. Hello, flamethrower. Get out of here, flamethrower. There's a health upgrade we'll be able to buy. That's good. We'll be able to finally use some of the money we've collected. Let's clear out all these weapons. There we go. No item drops from them, sadly, but... I guess we shouldn't ask for too much from these guys. Ooh, lots of blue experience bots. That's good for us. And an armor drop randomly. That's luck helping us out here. Also a difficulty up. Not a big fan of that one, but I'll take what I can get. Look at all that madness. All right, take the armor up. Grab some of this experience to cap our gun out at level 6. Awesome. Do not want the difficulty increase. I don't know how it would possibly help us. Unless it really does just give you more enemies so you have more chances to get more stuff. In that case, it could be pretty good. But I don't know exactly how that works. We just got an achievement called Don't Worry, You Probably Don't Need That. I don't know what that's for, but I think, if memory serves, it's for picking up a ton of health pickups when you have maximum health. Alright, there's more maximum health increase, so now we have even more leeway with our vampirism. I think that's probably all we're going to get here. There's definitely secrets to be had up above, but we can't get up to them, so let's just move on to the boss room and fight whatever's inside. What is this? Snow globe, bro. Never seen these bosses before. This is a good run for finding new mysterious bosses. Also a good run for taking a lot of damage. We should be able to kill these guys off pretty quickly. Oh, holy enemies, Batman. Wow. All right, well, they spawned a bunch of tanks and stuff to defend themselves. Thankfully, ow. We should still be able to kill them off pretty quickly because our gun does insane damage at level 6. There we go. They're done. Problem solved. <laughs> Man, that would have been a lot harder if our gun didn't just wreck them at super high speed. What is this? Uber. Whoa! Whoa! What? Alright. Uber seems hilarious. Hang on, does this generate additional exp It does. Picking these up generates weapon experience. That's a bug. Well, if you ever check this out, uh, creator, you might want to watch out that your mods actually give the person experience. They can just trade them back and forth to power up their weapons. Do we want Uber? That is pretty amazing. Or do we want Vampire to stay alive? Because Vampire seems really good. But Uber seems hilarious. I think we're going to take Vampire, though, just because not dying is pretty important. And we don't have the mobility to otherwise keep ourselves safe, but I really want to take that Uber mod. But I can't I can't justify it. I'm pretty sure we're all gonna die in here. This clown is a lunatic killer. Hey clown, has anyone ever finished this training course alive? Hey kids! The answer to your inquiry is a happy team knows both its strengths and its food allergies. I think that's a no. Alright, well it's sad to leave the Uber upgrade behind, but we need to keep the vampire, because it's just so good for making us not be dead. Let's head into the Sanctum and see what happens in there. Very low on the secrets found, because we just don't have the jump power to get them. But we knew that we were going to get into that, and we chose to have a level 6 weapon instead. Going for firepower over at pickups. And thankfully the game has been generous in giving us things that support our firepower. Hey kids, you've reached the top floor. Very few teams make it this far. How many business people do you think this creep has killed in here? Hey kids, I see you inquiring about my kill count. That's not important. What's important is that clowns hate business people. I don't think I like our odds. Hey kids, don't be sad. Turn that frown upside down and then die a miserable death. But don't forget to have fun. Oh good. All right, let's get in here. We don't have Uber mod, unfortunately, but we do regenerate a bunch of health, which is going to help keep us alive in the Sanctum anyway, because this place can be a vicious mess. Alright, 
and grab some of this lovely experience and turn around and vaporize those behind us. I, I really wish I could have justified taking Uber, but staying alive is more important. Alright, I know there's secrets in this room, but I don't remember where they are, and I think they're way too high up for us to reach. Like, I think there's one up in this side. Yeah, we can't get up there. Excuse me. I have to have a bit of a sneeze there. Cut the mic out, so I probably only got the start of it. But there we go. Move to the next room. Deal with whatever else the Sanctum has to throw at us. Uh-oh. That is a crazy big gun. Ow. Also, that hurt quite a bit. Let's not do that again. All right. Kill off the rest of the purple blasters. There we go. Because they are a problem with their chasing bullets. Now, these guys... I can't get up the ladder for some reason. There we go. These guys aren't too bad on their own. Grab some of the stuff that's been dropped down here below. Excellent. Don't quite have enough for another pocket change generator charge. Not that we really need any money at this point. So I'm not too worried about that. Because, like I said, we can't do anything with it. The game has been very stingy with giving us purchasable items that we can actually reach. So I guess we just move on. Because this is another area where there are secrets to be had, but we can't reach them. So On to the next room we go, then. Uh-oh. Hello. That's a lot of the big saws. Thankfully, we have a whole lot of saw-killing firepower. Although it looks like if we stand still, we are going to explode. So let's not do that. Oh, this is this room we get a massive explosive turret, which I don't like very much. Defending on the far side there. All right, let's keep careful here. There's an armor upgrade we can grab. I don't know if I can actually do anything about this, though. Where are these shots coming from? Probably just that guy. Purple looks a bit of a problem. Let's get over here. We're taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Let's boogie up this hill and blow this guy up. There we go. Clear out these purple launchers at the top, because they're the ones who are giving us those homing problems. Power our gun back up to level 6 safely, because we lost a bunch of experience there. There we go. I may have chosen incorrectly. Oh, did that armor pickup go away? Or did we get it? I hope we got it. Because I wanted that. There's a speed boost we can buy. I'll take it. Any mobility is good mobility. I hope we picked up that armor upgrade and didn't lose it. Because that would be sad. Now, we need to get over there, but there's no way we can do that with our current power-ups. We have one nice lengthy jump, but there's no way we can get across that distance, nor can we get to the upper access. So this is looking unfortunate again, from the respect of us not being able to get any power-ups. Here's the boss room, though. Hey kids, you've reached your final test! I hope you're ready to really come together as a team! If you haven't, well, you'll probably be chopped to bits by lasers, or exploded, or spike balled to death. Isn't learning fun? Sure is. If we get out of this alive, I'm turning in my two weeks' notice tomorrow. Alright, gumball machine, let's do this thing. It is still the gumball machine, so looks like that is the only boss here. This is going to be difficult, though, because we don't actually have good range to take out that orb. We can hit it, but it's going to be hard for us to do much to it. And it looks like while this is a nice weapon, it doesn't actually do much to the boss. And it seems like Vampirism might have actually been the wrong choice for the boss fight, since it looks like Vampirism only actually gains you power when you kill the... Uh, kill something. So, attacking the uh, boss here isn't regenerating our health like I hoped it would. Ow. Also, lots of things in here giving us a hard time. We could probably regenerate plenty of health just by running around and attacking the enemies that spawn. But that's not exactly what I had in mind here. Let's attack the gumball machine some more, though. We should be able to take it out. I'd be surprised if we failed that much, at least. This also might be a pretty interesting weapon to fight against the Maw with, if we can make it that far. Just because we'd have the additional firepower of lots of projectiles going at it. The problem with it, though, potentially, is that if we can't actually make it far enough with our attacks to hit it, it'll be really hard to kill it. If our projectiles drop really far, the Maw is really far away from you when you fight it, so it might be really difficult for us to do anything. Let's try and clear this thing out, though, get rid of the spike ball launchers to make it a little bit safer for us. We're still level 6 weapon, but not for much longer. Let's see if we can't kill this guy before we lose it. We are definitely going to lose it, though, because there's a lot of enemies in here, and there's not a whole lot of time left for us to keep our power up before we drop a level. It's also hard to actually do damage to this guy right now. Alright, let's try and make sure we clear these guys out, because they're doing a lot of damage to us right now. Oh, it's more of these invisible eyeball guys who are extra nasty. 
Also, we're taking a ton of damage right now, trying to fight this gumball machine. Let's clear this thing out. We only have a little bit more damage to do to it, but it keeps regenerating that shield really quickly. Thankfully, since the target is huge now, we kill it in basically one shot with our massive spray of bullets. Unfortunately, we're taking a ton of damage from the room. Let's get over here and kill some of these enemies and try and finish this thing off. Uh oh, we're, we're dying here. I don't think we can live this. We're going to try our best, but I don't know if we can live through this. We are absolutely dying here. Come on now, game. Let us get it. We're so close. One little bit more damage, we'll get him. One little bit more damage. We only have to do a little bit more. Uber would have been a good choice here, I think. And this should be it. Oh! No, they got the shield up a little bit too fast for our projectiles to get in. And now do we get it? Yes, we got it. Oh, man, that was really close. Ow. No more. No more. Okay. The Luftfaust 1000. I don't know what that was. That boss battle did not go very well. <laughs> not having the jumps to get up there and avoid that shield makes that fight so much harder. Oh, man. Okay, well, we beat it. We beat it. We did it! Thank God. I'm gonna have nightmares about this for years. Hey, kids, I see you're working together as a piece of unit now. Congrats, you passed your training. You're free to go out into the world and spread the joy of teamwork. And remember, kids, when life gives you bananas, open a for-profit lethal survivor gauntlet team-building retreat. The boss actually paid for this? Let's get out of here before we get serial killed. All right, well, we did it. I don't think we're going to try and fight the Maw, though. Not given that we have literally no health. We will be terrible people, though. <laughs> well, you know what? That's a lot of power-ups here. That could be enough to get us going back in and fighting the Maw now. The genocide of Hugbots. Alright, you know what? We murdered a ton of Hugbots. Let's go fight the boss now. We got plenty of health back from that. We got plenty of weapon experience back. Let's try it. Risk our lives here for no good reason. Actually, you know what? We have no double jumps. We're going to have to do that gauntlet jumping across the bullets. This is going to be the first time we've had to do that before. That's going to suck. Let's give it a try, though. We're probably going to die here. Probably going to die here, but we're going to experiment with it and see what happens. Let's go. Into the crow's nest, where we will inevitably get murdered. We should get double jump videos. Or, <laughs> double jump videos? Double jump power-ups in here. At least one in the next area. We can't just leave that insane clown in control. How many future business people will it kill? We have to stop it. For once, we're in agreement. Hey, kids, I see you've reached a consensus and decided to try and stop me. Great teamwork. Prepare for a violent demise. All right, let's do this thing. Hopefully this weapon works against the boss. We need that double jump, though. Need it so bad. There we go. Okay, we have a double jump now. That's something. We won't be able to make it all the way across, but at least we'll be able to make some progress. Oh. Alright, let's do this thing. There's no way we can jump across here. We have to use the bullets to platform our way across. Which is not okay. There we go, and land on this one, and up we go. Okay, we made it. Now it's the Maw. Bring it on, Maw. Missile Barrage! Oh man, our bullets don't even reach it. That's terrible. Alright, let's lob really high and hope to take it out quickly. Otherwise, this is not going to go very well. Also, I can't really see the platform when I'm aiming up this high, so there's a good chance of me falling to my death or getting attacked by these stinking buzz bots who are going to de-level my weapon really fast at this rate. Oh my goodness. The Maw is taking damage, but so are we. We're going to be blown out of here in no time. Oof. Alright, that sucks. We have to make our way back across the bullets now. And they're going to be shooting at us this time. Get out of here. Woo! What are you doing? Let's just take cover in here. For a minute. Whoa! Don't come through the floor at me. That's cheating, I tell you. Alright, we should be able to get ourselves some experience back, actually, infinitely, by killing those missiles. If killing the missiles gives us health, we'll be laughing, because vampirism should work that way. So if we just throw, ex 
no mines out here. We should be able to generate health and go back. Yeah, it looks like it works. Is it cheesy? Absolutely. Does it work? It seems to. Watch out for that missile coming in. Ooh, that really hurts. That's a huge bomb. Holy cow. That really hurts. All right, let's lob some more shots out here then from a safe distance. Actually, I don't know if any of this is safe distance, but you know what? We can regenerate health here all day. The boss can't do anything about it, so... This might take a long time. We are slowly regenerating health, though, so it's something, but I'm probably going to cut the video here and we'll come back when we have full health again, because otherwise I'm going to be here all day. I don't know if it's even going to help us, because if we die immediately afterwards, it's not going to do us any good. But, uh... We'll do a quick little cut here and come back again once we're... Oh, this is actually working pretty fast. I don't know. I don't like this idea, because it's kind of really, really slow. But, if it keeps us alive, that's what we brought vampirism for. Kind of abusing the stage, but you know what? Whatever. So yeah, I'll be back in a second when we're back at full health, and we'll go fight the moss some more. Alright, we're back. We're back with full health. We're gonna have to wait a little bit for these bullets to regenerate so we can actually make it across here. But let's boogie. Oop, there's actually some experience dropped down here earlier by some of the enemies... Ow. Well, there's some of our health already. Some of the enemies we previously destroyed. Can we make it back onto this ledge here in one go? Yes, we can. Hello, Maw. Time to take some more damage and immediately regret coming over here to fight you. But if we can kill you off, I'll be super happy. We're losing our health quickly, but as long as we don't die immediately, I'll be fine with it. Maw's losing its health faster than we are, I think. Oh, it's going to blow us away again. Well, that's annoying. There's not much we can do about that. But we're over here again, so you know what? We might as well take the opportunity to regenerate some more health. The Maw's going to go down. But if it's going to make it easy for us like this to get away and heal, I might as well. Also, when these guys come towards us, if we let the buzz bots get over here, we can kill them and potentially get more power-ups for our gear, which could be cool. Getting more uh, ability to use our... Ooh, hello. Those explosives really hurt if they hit us. Gotta make sure we stay safe from that. Getting more power-ups for our rockets could help kill them a bit quicker, or getting more weapon level. We're down to level 4 now, which is not great. But uh, if we get more weapon power-ups or power-ups for our rockets, that would be really useful for taking these guys out quicker. So, I think we will... Uh, oh, hello, that's perfect. Kill off more of these guys. Oh boy. Grab ourselves a bit more quick regeneration and other means. We don't quite have the rockets yet. We might wait until we get enough of the buzz bots over here to regenerate our rocket power. And then we'll go. Oh, hello. That was close. Bullets coming in from all sides here, but that's fine. This game is interesting. We've never tried this kind of a cheap, turtly tactic before, but I guess that's what the vampire mod is good with with this weapon. This weapon is definitely not very good for fighting the boss with, though, because of the fact that your bullets all drop off and it's really hard to actually hit them with it. Alright, well... I think I will do the same trick as last time, cut out, and we'll be back again in a second once we've cleared the path, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, we're back, regenerated back to full health, and we have our rockets, so let's let these missiles regenerate themselves so we can actually make our way across here, and then we'll see about maybe getting out of here alive. Unfortunately, the rockets are now blowing themselves up, which is less than ideal. Makes it definitely a little bit harder to get across. Let's go, though. One, two... Just made it. One, two, uh oh, missed. Oh, wow. Wow, you fall through that. That's not okay. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that sucked. That sucked a whole lot. All right. That was not what we wanted to have happen at all. In that case, let's try this again, except know now that you can't actually land on those things. I thought you could, but I was played for a fool. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. Wasting so much life here now in the simple platforming section is not what we had in mind at all. Not at all what we had in mind. Alright, let's kill this guy because he's in the way. Make our way back up here and try this one more time. Otherwise, I'm probably going to go back and regenerate some health instead because we've already wasted one of our health upgrades worth of life trying to just make our way across this platforming segment. There we go. Fire the rockets. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, Ma, you can... Oh, come on! I just got here. You don't need to immediately blow me away again. And I flew straight into that thing. We have to regenerate health again. Since the mod doesn't want to play fair and let us actually kill it, we have to regenerate our health again. Which is super lame, but there's nothing we can do about it. Hello, bullets. 
So I guess I'll see you guys again in a second. We're gonna win this thing. The game really wants to make it tedious for us by forcing us to come back here all the time. Which sucks, but not, nothing we can do about it. So I'll see you guys again in a second. I'm trying my best here, but the mod just wants to blow us away all the time. Alright, we're basically ready to go again. Oh, hello. We got some saw bots coming in here. Hopefully they'll die pretty quick. Sometimes they go straight through our saw our, our spike balls though, and that makes it pretty difficult to do anything about them. Let's go, we got full health. Nowhere to go but up. Uh oh. Or down, apparently. Ow, ow, we just lost a weapon level because of this. Ouch! No game, that's not okay. Not okay at all. This platforming segment sucks if you don't have enough jumps to just fly it. And we've missed again. It's really hard to land on these things because they appear right underneath your feet. And they're flying behind you while you're trying to land on them. Makes it pretty darn difficult. Let's try and avoid getting killed here on the way across. There we go. Ow, run into a saw bot. That's not good. We need all the health we can get now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're gonna fall because you can't stand on this thing. Okay, good, we made it. Can we kill this guy before the mob murders us with this massive- Oh, come on, Ma! Come on! I just want to kill you! Let me stay there for 10 seconds, let me actually kill you, because now I want to heal again, because you blew me away anyway. If you're going to make me come all the way back here, it doesn't make me want to immediately go back and fight you, you stinking robot. That's really annoying. Because like I said, I really have no drive to immediately rush back there to my death without healing first. Even though the mall only has a tiny bit of health left, it just seems like a very silly thing to do. Let's try and blow these things up, get ourselves a little bit more health back, and then we'll go back over there. But like, the platforming is not enjoyable in this section if we don't have enough jumps to make it across a little bit more easily, and reliably. And, uh, yeah. It keeps blowing us away the instant we get over there. Problem is, we're also losing weapon firepower, so actually killing them is getting harder and harder. Alright. Whatever, we have enough health. Let's get back over there and do this thing. One, two, land on this guy. One, two, oh, missed him. And I missed all the ones on the way down as well. Cool, let's get out of here because the game wants us to have to go back and do it all over again. It's really hard to land on those things. Uh oh Apparently we landed, but we still used our double jump trying to go further. Oh, come on! Whatever, let's get over here. We can maybe use this elevator if it comes down sometime this year. There we go. Oh boy. Taking a ton of damage here, though. Get over here, Ma, so I can kill you. I need to hit you a tiny bit. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? You have to got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Whew! That battle took way longer than it needed to. Way longer. We did it. No one will have to deal with that insane clown ever again. Nice work, team. Someone should give me a medal. Oh, boy. Seriously, though, that was a nightmare. <laughs> that was really hard. Using this uh, short-range weapon against a long-range boss was really difficult. On the plus side, vampirism saved our lives several times. Okay, I'm glad I kept it over Uber after all now. We'll have to get Uber on another run though, because it seems like a lot of fun. And the Tower of Guns is no more. That's an Uber victory for the first time with a power-up that isn't bluegrass. So that's pretty cool. That's a first for us. Hey kids, remember it's not the squeaky shoes on the outside that matter, but the squeaky shoes inside that count. Oh no, it survived! Run! It's unstoppable! <laughs> okay then. Let's see our uber victory. Now our total time. This is another run we'll probably have split into two parts. A space to continue. Although we destroy the mysterious tower and put an end to the vile crown's training retreat, that powdered face still haunts us ceaselessly. Perhaps all along there was no clown. Perhaps all along the clown was us. For don't we have an inner clown just waiting to torture our colleagues with puns, planks, and pranks, and spike balls? Yay. Three Uber wins! Yay! Not a lot of upgrades, because we had no jumping. We had the Taco Terror perk. We had the Hair Hedgehog with a vampirism. 
Very nice. Did... Eh, I don't know. Hmm. Those damage upgrades definitely helped us out, though. All right, let's move on. That was an awesome run. Let's see if anything changed here in the menu. I don't think it will have, but let's go take a peek. Our collection. Does it tell us anything about these upgrades? No. It just tells us what they say on them, which doesn't really help us very much. We're getting a good collection of the items, though. Lots of things in here getting uncovered. Interesting. Alright, there's only three mods we've never seen before. There's some cool ones in there, though. Apparently we're 74% complete through the game. If we go to start a new game, we have now got a star here on the Hedgehog, another star on Taco Terror, which is pretty sweet. We might try some of these other different non-bluegrass upgrades in the future to make our lives a bit more difficult again. But for now, this is going to be it. Thank you all for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more Tower of Guns here for you today. If you've enjoyed our victory with the Hedgehog, even though it wound up having a little bit of a grindiness in it, let me know what you thought about in the comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and bye bye All right, grab our starting cash and see what story we're playing. Hey there, kids, and welcome to Pinky's Professional Team Building Obstacle Course. We did this one recently, I think. Oh. Whoa. That's cool. I'm not going to worry about the story since we've seen this one before. We're just going to run in here and hopefully get a start on things. I don't remember how long we lived with this story, but we'll see what happens in the next one. What am I get stuck on? A tiny little ledge. Alright. Well, we have a spike ball launcher, which I guess makes sense since you get it from killing spike ball launchers. Ooh, it's pretty powerful too, it looks like. Took those guys out in no time. Ow. Hey, there's a damage upgrade right away. Take that. That's a good start. Although, apparently it's a bit hard to hit these saw guys with it. Alright, there we go. Problem solved. Ooh. Or not. Spiky balls flying everywhere. But I'm quite happy to get that damage upgrade first thing. That'll be a big boon to our firepower for the upcoming stage. Is there anything hidden around here? This is a map I don't remember finding anything fancy hidden on. Maybe in here there's something hidden in the walls? That don't, doesn't look like it, though. No, probably up higher. No, it doesn't look like that either. Alright, don't know what we're supposed to be finding hidden away. Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Tower of Guns. So, we're back in the tower yet again, let's get it going here, because we've got something new to test out today. Not the Kegerator, no, the Hedgehog. Between now and last time, I did a little run here to get ourselves the uh, final spike ball launcher kill, and we unlocked ourselves a new weapon, the Hedgehog. Not for long distance or a low spec PC. I have no idea what that means. But it does worry me slightly. I guess we're going to give it a shot. Probably going to take Bluegrass again. Because Bluegrass seems to simply lead to better runs. Maybe we'll try something else though. Let's try it. I really want to have some fun with Taco Terror. I want it to work for us. So we're going to try it. We've been yet to ever get a gun to level 6. But I want to see what it looks like. And this sounds like it would be a crazy one if it does stuff that makes your PC have a hemorrhage. So let's give this a try here with Taco Terror and the Hedgehog. And see what happens here. No idea what we're getting into, but let's get in and find out. Here we are. In here, but let's just move on and see what's through this portal. Well, there's definitely a secret up there. I don't have the jump to get up there, sadly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hello. There's more of these little ground guys. We're seeing them more and more often, but I still have no idea what they actually are. We still have no weapon upgrades. I don't think we've seen a single one. Huh. Yeah, that looks like it's just a health upgrade, so that's not a big deal, even if we can't get up to it. Or rather, a health regeneration, not even an upgrade. So, let's just move along. Hopefully we'll get some weapon experience on this stage. Ooh. 
There's a whole weapon experience exploder guy. Let's throw some attacks into these guys, those who don't kill us on the way over here. Ow! But we need to grab all this stuff before it goes away. That'll give us a lot more strength, most likely. Hard to say exactly what it'll do, because we've never tried it before. Ow! Looks like it shoots more projectiles now, which is kind of cool. Gotta wipe these guys out without getting killed ourselves. There we go. Ooh. Avoid the damage. Clear the waves. Alright. We probably shouldn't be climbing like this right away, but you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about it. We're just going to tank our way through here and try and take these things out as quickly as we can. And then we'll go back around and collect what we get. This is actually a pretty cool gun. What's in there? Ooh. Is that a speed power-up? Looks like it. I'll take it. If I can grab it. There's the speed. Now, is there anything else down there? Nope, nothing else down here. Just the game trying to get me to tilt my way out. Alright, up we go then. And now, can I make my way across to here with a well-timed jump? Not with a poorly timed jump, at least. I think I might have actually grabbed it off of the ledge with the magnetism ability. Possibly. Let's go take a peek up there again. We don't have enough money to buy that mod anyway, so it doesn't really matter. My preferences on purchasing are not really relevant. Oh! Nope, I can get over there, but I can't get up high enough to actually get the, uh, the power-up in question. Presumably, if I jump from here... Yeah, I won't be able to get the altitude either. Alright, fair enough. A couple upgrades here we have to pass by since we don't have the money to get them. Which is unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it. I don't see anything else hidden away in here, so we're just going to move on to the next room and see what we can capitalize on there. Only got level 2 for our hedgehog here, but hopefully it'll be good enough. We can't get the spread upgrade, can't get that random item. We'll have to just go on. Uh-oh. It's pretty effective, too, the way it uh, lobs around like that. You can actually do some pretty good damage with it. It looks like it's easy to miss some of your shots, though, and then it doesn't do a whole lot. There's the boss room, so we should be able to hopefully get a little bit more experience before we go in there, so we can really capitalize on this gun. We only need a tiny little bit more to get to level 3. Ooh, a spread gun mod. I don't know what that does. Well, I can guess what it does. I'm assuming it's the opposite of precise and makes your bullets spray everywhere. What I'm saying is I'm not sure if we want it. Because making a weapon that already spreads quite a bit even less precise seems like a bit of a problem. A little bit counterintuitive, as it were. Let's see if we can find anything hidden away in this level, though. I know there's stuff in the cauldron if we drop in there. Is there anything else lying around here for us to grab, though? We don't have any double jumps, so going into the cauldron will deal us damage. Is there anything else hidden away, though? I don't see much. Do not see... Oh, there's some experience. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. So there's some experience, but I don't think we can get to it because we're not fast enough, nor do we have enough jumps to get over there. So, let's go back up the slow way, drop into the cauldron, get whatever power-ups are hidden within, 